Dice, how you doing? Kind of an odd job for me. I was at this job last week and this guy had a boiler with three water heaters. I guess there was a problem with the chimney. As far as the main beam structures run through the chimney of the house. So, uh, no one really wants to play around with working on the chimney. So I'm going over there to install a power vendor. That's going to service the boiler and the three water tanks. Out the side of the house to get rid of the, the fumes, the gas fumes. So that's going to be my job today. I figured I would uh, do a video on this. I work on a lot of power renters up here in the northeast. Hopefully, you enjoy it. this a boiler here one two three water heaters going up into the chimney there I'm going to put a power venter in that window over there and power vent these units a new smoke pipe over to there. I should take care of it. Oh, if you can see the wood, that's all wood there. that water heater behind the boiler I'm gonna move it over here out of the way out from underneath that area from in back here's where the power vent is going look at this for a chimney a fucking joke wood. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can't use that. That's what it was in before. I'm looking straight up. from behind the boiler there. Got the power venter. Took the window out. Put the power venter in. Now I'm gonna do the smoke pipe work. Is next. Alright guys, check this out. Check out the old stuff. The old smoke pipe. I don't know if you can see this, but I don't want me to get up. This is why I'm putting this power venter in. I'm not a big fan of power venters, but this guy's got no choice. And you see all that wood? This is all wood. Right in the chimney. That's the main chimney going up for the house. All this stuff was tied right into that. Right against the wood. Crazy. But like I said, I'm not a big fan of power renters, but this guy's got no choice here. The only thing you can do. You got the water heater. Piping. Water pipe tied in. I moved it from underneath behind the boiler. So I've got all three water heaters here, one boiler, one, two, three, and one boiler. Power venters over there, 
took the window out, put a piece of wood in. That's going to be next, my smoke pipe with these Ys. I want to tie all this stuff in, make a header here for this stuff. All right. Alright guys, see if you can see this boiler's tight in, comes up into a Y. Got a water heater over there. Comes up with an ironing into a Y. Same thing with the other one, a 90 into a Y. Strange, she is going to tie into this one here. You to see this power venter. Well, this is a, um, a number five power venter. They got a four and a five. Five is bigger. This will take like 285,000 BTUs. You can see this damper inside here. I'll be able to adjust the draft later. If I'm getting too much draft, I can loosen up the screw and adjust this damp damper to slow down my draft for whatever I want. I want with a bigger size power venter because of all the appliances I have here. One, two, three, four appliances. So I'm going to be pulling off these draft hoods quite a bit. So that's why I want with the bigger power venter. Got all the smoke pipe tied in. I'll take a pretty good shot of it. Alright. Next I'm gonna do the water heater controls. Try to put the controls on these water heaters. Roll out switches and one on the boiler. What's next? All right, guys. Let's see if you can see this. See this pressure switch right here? There's a little plug in the bottom of this gas valve that you got to take out. Put this nipple with a T. And you put the plug back in the bottom of the T. When this water heater fires up it makes the switch in 110 from the power venter makes on this and runs that power venter motor over there. And there's three of them. And then there's these rollout switches up top here that are tied into a thermal couple T down the bottom down here. You look at it on this one over here you can see better. So a little adapter, you take the thermocouple out, put the adapter in, and there's two wires. These two wires run up to these rollout switches right here, spill switches. So if this water heater starts up, pulls this vacuum switch in, which allows that power venter to run, and starts the draft. For some reason that power venter motor don't start up, then rollout switches will trip. They're automatic, they're uh, manual reset switches. You can see it. Got a little manual reset. So, with these power renters, if you lose power, these water heaters start up. You have to reset those rollout switches manually to relight the pilot. The pilot will go out and stay out. So, it's a backup safety. My electrician was here, he's running, running conduit. So you're running a conduit on a four-way box here. Running down. Over here, I'm going to put a whip both, both to this switch and to this pressure switch, 110. And the 110 
it's tied on to there's three connections on the left hand side you can see it L1 neutral and M so basically you got power coming into L1 and then you got the neutral and then you got the power venter motor so it's just going to be tied on to the power venter motor when that switch is going to send power to that switch and as soon as that switch makes it's going to fire this power venter motor right up in this control and there's a heat sequencer over here basically what happens with the boiler is you get the white wire from the thermostat that comes over to T2 um, T1 comes in, T2 is common and then T3 s sends power back through that rollout switch on the furnace right there and fires this boiler up so as the heat sequencer as you guys know this one here I believe is 1 to 20 seconds on and 110 seconds off Alright guys, my draft gauge here. Set it at zero. Pull the hole in the smoke pipe. Pulling about three and a half, four. Got all the units running. Pulling almost five here. Let's go. I'm gonna show you how to set the draft on this thing. Five. Five is perfect. Set the draft. Trying to come over here. You can see up over here on this thing. It's got a little quarter of inch driver there's a damper right here I showed to you earlier in the video I had to crank it down like halfway it's like a 0.05 across this whole main I tried running them individually and I'm still getting a 0.05 so I'm good with that you don't want to have too much draft because you can pull the pilot right off the thermal couple and it will shut down so you have to set the draft right both of the spill switches tied into this one line the electrician ran comes over to here we have a power on off switch put a little clamp on it so nobody can shut it off you have to stick your hand up underneath to shut it off this one pressure switch so to recap when this power venter turns on gas pressure goes down to that pressure switch turns the power venter on this one here I got jumped out here so cause I can't get into the apartment I got this jumped out here basically this wire goes up to the thermostat and then comes back on white sends power to the power venter so I just jumped out the thermostat just to run it. I'm good with that now so alright it's about three o'clock I've been here all day but I'm satisfied with the job I think it's gonna be fine I'm a lot better than what he had and I'm sure the homeowner will be happy or the landlord I should say alright guys have a good one
this is the way the water heaters are hooked up. Just fires up the burner motor. L1 coming in. L2 is the neutral. Basically, it's just going across L1 and motor down through the spill switch, put gas pressure switch, and then you get the thermocouple adapter and the two rollout switches as a safety. And the little boiler comes in on this side through the heat sequencer, powers up the power venter, proves through the proven switch. Sends power back down through. Comes in on red. Sends power up to the thermostat. Comes back on white. Instead of firing the boiler up, it goes through this um, power venter control. Through the heat sequencer. Powers the power venter motor up. Through the vacuum switch. Back through T3. And then that feeds runs over and powers up the boiler and it also goes through the limit switch. And there you go, there's a wiring. 